In collaboration with Bosch, we are developing algorithms and a driving system for driverless driving in an urban environment. From the development cooperation, a system solution is generated, which can be used, for example, for future car sharing and driving services. Our collaboration takes place in Silicon Valley and in Greater Stuttgart area. By that, we can ensure that the system solution will be developed and improved nearly day and night. Artificial intelligence and deep learning will play a crucial role so that the vehicle environment can be correctly recorded and traffic situations can be pre-calculated. On that basis, we can then select the appropriate driving strategy. For the development work, we use current test vehicles based on the V-Class. The decision concerning the final production vehicle will be taken during the project. but since it's not relevant for us we don't highlight it here we highlight it again oh, sorry on sound uh, needs to be confirmed and then so on here we have all the five cars and we will also see the pedestrian then over here Daimler will provide the necessary vehicles, test platforms and fleet trial vehicles for development purposes. 
Bosch will supply automated driving algorithms as well as the specific components needed for driving in urban environments such as sensors, actuators and control units. Bosch and Daimler have extensive experience in this area. Daimler is contributing the expertise of a premium OEM and mobility provider, while we are adding our braking, steering and sensor expertise plus our systems know-how. Regarding our development partnership, we are talking specifically about a driverless system. In other words, vehicles that transport passengers from a starting point to a destination within a defined urban area, like a taxi service, just without drivers. In bringing fully automated driverless vehicles to city streets, Bosch and Daimler want to enhance road safety, improve urban traffic flows, and thus provide an important building block for the traffic of the future. Hier unten, dem Bereich, hast du den schon mal gesehen? Nee, finde ich nicht. Was findest du denn hier? Ist alles drin? Ja, das, was wir hier sehen, brauchen wir halt noch irgendwo. 
Ja, müssen wir entweder gucken, ob Ja, habe ich hier. Findet. Passt. Und dann haben wir den Teil hier. Hast du den den habe ich auch. Okay. Hier unten, äh, den Bereich habe ich noch nicht gesehen. Hm, nee, sehe ich auch nicht. Das muss ich den Fußgänger, den müsste man da auch sehen. Also ich sehe hier auf jeden Fall, ich sehe, wenn man ungefähr drüben steht. Dass da Exit ist, aber. Oh ja, das war gut. Exit ist wahnsinnig. Jetzt wieder da, guck mal. Kann hier auch. Durchschalten, ne? Und, äh, aber wenn du nämlich hier siehst und hier siehst, das Ach, ist das alles ist. toll. Genau, aber hier siehst du auf jeden Fall, dass sie funktionieren. <lacht> hm, nee, ich glaube, du musst die, die andere und dann nochmal raus. Ja, obwohl, da, wenn du es ein bisschen größer machst, dann können wir da, da sehen wir ein Bein. <lacht> Point load is still big enough yeah, to, right. to, to, to see. Yeah, that's why we so can do localization against yeah. the road on this one. Yeah. We have now the segmentation on that each control gets um, the ID and the ID is represented by the color. Oh, so, so these are the same ID? And uh, this is also nice in the future that mm -hmm. we have the stop distance in the like stop line. We can right now we're using the stereo camera and the corners in general would be also a good spot. The corners will also be very nice though. So let's look into that. But the good thing is about this one, it has a little higher tone, it's a very fine point. Then it's for uh, for transfection, that's in the stereo. 